we have the 10 gauge splicing right. needle. This is 800 pound line. Um, we insert the splicing needle inside the spectra. This is a hollow fiber, so that's possible. In order to do so, we determine where we insert it by pulling the needle at the end of the line, going one needle length inwards, about here. Now if it's brand new line, it's fairly stiff. We kind of loosen it up like this so we can insert the needle inside. To do this, take the needle, flip the latch back, and now insert it inside the fiber, slowly, without force, just slide it along. It helps sometimes if you, uh, oops, I messed up. So if you mess up like this, don't continue on. Pull all the way out, flip the latch back, pull the needle back in. Hmm. Now push forward again once the latch is all the way back in. What will happen is the latch is going to stick out and flip back hmm. as you push. So you put about one needle length So this, at this point, we're going to come out of the fiber, right here, all the way out with the latch, grab a big loop, fold the latch over like this. Stuck it in there. Now we're going to pull this loop through all the way, keep going, keep going, all the way until the line turns inside out like this. At this point, this is a perfectly good loop splice. It will never come apart unless this section of line physically fails. To determine the size of the loop splice, what we do is we uh, make sure it fits around the bottom portion of the tail spool, which is the biggest diameter. We have to feed it around, so you can just tighten it like this. It's good enough. If it's bigger, it's not a big problem, just gonna make it a whole lot bigger. Now, we're gonna tuck the tail end back into the line. In order to do that, we kinda lay it next to the line that we wanna insert it in, go about a half inch behind it, open this area up like this, insert the needle with the latch back. important thing is not to force the needle because it will pop right out. Now we work ourselves to the point where the line disappears inside the other line. This is where we're going to come out all the way with the latch. We're going to grab this end piece in such a way that there's only about three-eighths of an inch to about Mm -hmm. a half inch sticking out. Now we're going to work this all the way through here. Come out the other side like this. Now in order to remove any issues with overlap, we're pulling this this way. We're going to pull this this way. You can see that. Now you got all the gaps taken out. Now you put your fingers right at the intersection. You work the loop this way and you work the other part this way and the line disappears within and the splice is complete. Okay. You want to show this again? Mm -hmm. Just put it on. So the way you do it, it's still too short. Is it? Yeah, we'll find out. You insert it here, make sure this is all the way screwed in, finger tight. And, ha, ah, come on. <laughs> so, you loop it around. There we go. Pull it back up like this. Growth hitch it and you're done.